that better? Sorry. <laughs> I thought I was quite alive, but never mind. Um, so, John 6, 35, then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. I'll say that one more time. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. So as Richard asked, if you could just have a think about what that means to you. Earlier in this chapter of John, the disciples have just witnessed the miracle of Jesus feeding 5,000 people with five loaves and two fish. All ate and all were full and with many baskets left over. Well, I'm not sure about you, but I like bread. It's a bit of a, you know, a good pastime of mine eating bread. So any opportunity to have some new bread or some different bread or some freshly baked bread, then I'm always first in the queue, as I'm sure my wife will attest to. Oh, well. <laughs> absolutely. So today, everybody, is Bread Week on the St. Botolph's Bake Off Challenge. So the idea is we're going to have some different beds, and we're going to ask for some volunteers to come up and try some breads and just give us their thoughts on them. However, I am looking for the Paul Hollywood and Prue Leaf people out there. So hopefully some children will take part and hopefully one or two <coughs> adults. Yes, please. So if you get a few children or as many children as possible, and if a few adults would like to take... Yes, please. Yes. So there's five... Different types of bread. <laughs> the thing is, you're not you're not going to know what these are, but everybody else will. This is the Bake Off. So I, I would say, if you do have any intolerances or gluten, if you are. So if you start with number one for me, that'd be great. We just all want to take a piece of number one. Yep. That's good, I got it right. If you're not quite sure, don't want to eat it, just chuck the rest in there if you don't want to eat it all. <laughs> So what do we think, everybody? Anybody would like to say anything? Bieber, would you like to say anything? It's okay. It's okay. Anybody else? Eat it. Not my favourite. Not your favourite. No, that's fair enough. Anybody else? Tastes weird. Tastes weird. <laughs> Anybody else like to comment on that bread? No? Okay, so if you've all finished then, I think, I think we'll give the big reveal now. So, In fact, does anybody know what that bread was? Walnut seed, well, yeah, there was a few seeds in that. So this one was actually pimpernickel loaf. Pumpernickel loaf, sorry, I can't read that. <laughs> but now you've tasted it and now you know. So would you like to take one for number two? Be taking a piece, you can just move out the way a little bit so everybody else can grab one. That's great. I'll tell you what, I'll probably use this one to give it. Yeah. Come, on, come that way or you're going to see what they are. Any thoughts? Yeah, is it better than the last one? No, no. <laughs> Just normal bread, well. Yeah? So be... No. It's good. Okay, brilliant. So that one is cranberry and pumpkin loaf. So, 
The next one, probably my favourite one in all this, but if you want to take one. Everybody get a piece of this? Yep. So no guesses there what kind of bread that was. Everybody like to go? Cheese bread. Is it all a thumbs up for cheese bread? Anybody not like cheese bread? Not that much. No. Okay. So, yep, yeah, that is actually cheese bread, so well done. So, number four, would you like to take a piece of number four, please? <coughs> Everybody got a piece? I'm taking this is not a, a winner in any way here. <laughs> well, depending on your point of view for healthiness, um, this is probably quite healthy. So are we... Are are we giving this one a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Thumbs down, okay. You like that one? So this one's a multi-grain loaf with mixed seeds. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. So yeah, take the last one. Again, also one of my favorites. <coughs> Go for it, Jonah. <laughs> the cheese bread. So, the bloomer at the end. Are we, are, are we thumbs up, thumbs down on that? Thumbs up. So, a big decision time at the Bake Off Challenge, of course. Which one's your favourite? Number five, number five. Number two. Number two. Cheese bread. So I think number five is probably the overall winner. I'll tell you what, kids, if you want to take that away and go and eat it, then uh, it's all good with me. And thank you very much. If anybody else would like to come and try a bread, then please um, feel free to come and have a, have a go. So the point was there, obviously we consume bread a lot in the country and there was a very small taste of the, the breads and varieties that are available for us to eat. So there was a broad range of uh, extra things to put in bread nowadays. But to give you some kind of facts, the UK produces on average 5 million tonnes of flour every year, which is an unconceivable amount of flour. But as a tiny country, that's still quite a lot. And on average, there are 12 million loaves sold, uh, loaves of bread sold every single day in the UK. Which if you take a rough av average of 60 million people, that's one fifth of the country, buys a loaf of bread every day. Isn't it amazing actually that flour, which starts from a single seed, which was put into the soil, is watered, nurtured by the sun, and produces a crop. Harvested and then used to make a large variety of breads. But we don't just have bread to eat in our lives, we have a large a variety of fr uh, food to eat and enjoy, and some of that ends up in our bread. Today we are celebrating harvest, and harvest is an opportunity for us to remember that all of our food is provided by God. He is the one who gives us the seeds, the soil, the rain, and the sun. He is the one who gives strength to those who work on the land to plant the seeds and then to harvest the crops. 
He is the one who fills the oceans with fish and the land with animals that we enjoy to eat. So how do we respond to God for what he has provided? Well, I think we need to be thankful every day. But I wonder how many of us are really thankful for what we have. How many of us remember to thank God for the food we eat each day. So often we take everything we have for granted, including our food. And we can end up feeling complacent. And today we bring to mind those who don't have even enough food to eat. Therefore, let us be thankful every day. I'm hoping you've had a chance to think about what Jesus meant by saying, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes from me will never go hungry. And whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. A bit later on in John, I found a passage which I thought was also relevant. Which is uh, John chapter 6, verse 51. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. This bread is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Jesus wasn't referring to actual bread, of course, but he was referring to himself in who Jesus is and what he will do, has already done for all humankind. Belief in Jesus Christ as the cornerstone of our spiritual existence is how we gain eternal life. When we put our faith in him, he gives us spiritual bread that will not spoil and also abundant life That will never end. A thought for the week. The next time you eat some bread, or really any food for that matter, know that the food will help to sustain your physical self. What then should you do to feed and sustain your spiritual self? Let us pray. God, let us show our thanks to you every day. Let us not be complacent with what we have and what we enjoy in our life. Let us be aware of those who have little or nothing. And that by talking to others of our faith in you and your son Jesus, that they can be encouraged and through you come to find you in their hearts. In Jesus' name we pray.